welcome friends this is the first chapter of our study so in this chapter we will see introduction to html for introducing html first we will see difference between linear media and hypermedia so what is linear media linear media is a term used to describe any media where there is a defined beginning and linear progression to the end forms of linear media such as movies audios and video tapes and most books organized with this expectation the world wide web is organized very differently that is hypermedia so let's discuss about hypermedia hypermedia is where the user simply select the next items of interest and it immediately transported to that new location example of this Hypermedia is an audio CD where you can choose a song number 5 and listen it to almost immediately. When this concept is applied to text, you get the hypertext where by clicking on a link or hotspot, you are immediately transported to new location within the same page or a new page. So, this is the example of hypermedia. For example, if you click on the some link and then you get transported to one new page so let's discuss about now html so what is html html is a abbreviation of hypertext markup language where html contains several tags and elements so what is tags for example b b is the tag which is used to bold the text every tag is enclosed within less than sign and greater than sign in less than and greater than sign element is there for example here b is the element which is used to bold the text and we write the text in bold tag that will be displayed in bold font so here we have some text in bold tag every tag has closing tag and it is denoted by forward slash so we have started b tag and close b tag by writing forward slash at the end of the tag now there is also attribute in tags we have write font tag font tag generally used to give several style to our font for example we want to give color and size of the text then we can use font tag and we have to pass attribute in the font tag and we have to give property of the attribute so we are giving green to our color so this text will be displayed in green color so this is about html markup and tags and attribute now let's see structure of the document so this is the basic structure of the html document every html document start with html tag tag means elements which is enclosed within parenthesis which is less than and greater than sign after html tag there is a starting of head tag head tag contains several sub elements like a title style script meta and link so head tag is used for several purpose for example we want to set the title of the page which is displayed in the browser's title bar and used by search engine and to give the meaningful name to our web document then title is used so title tag must be placed within the head tag so we have written title and this will set the title of our page here we have set structure of document as our title after title tag we must have to close the title tag after closing the title tag we must have to close head tag also so here the completion of metadata now there is a start of body tag body tag is generally used formats to our document for example all the contents of our document will be placed within this body tag all other tags are written in this body tag and displayed on the web page so our main focus is on the body tag which is the container for several elements and tags after all the elements are written in body tag we must have to close the body tag and then we have to also close html tag 
so this is the whole structure of html document now let's see sub elements of header and purpose of that element as we have discussed title is used to set the title of the page for example if we want to give the title of the page this is the html structure then we must have to write html structure in title tag so that will be written in the title bar of browser link tag indicates relationship between this document and some other object on the web so this will be used in style sheet when we are using external style sheet or we want to link any other object to our document then link tag is used meta tag meta tag provides information such as a page keyword and description of page this tag is generally used by search engine to read various metadata about document and to extract information about pages another tag is script tag for example we want to write vb script or javascript then we can place that script in this script tag style tag cascading style sheets when we are using this css then we must have to write this css in style tag so this is all about sub elements of header tag so in this chapter we have discussed linear media versus hypermedia basic html structure and sub elements of header tag so this is all about introduction to html thank you welcome friends in this tutorial we will learn basic overview of html document so what kind of text editor we can use to create html document in market there are lots of text editor for html is available for that you can purchase or direct download from the internet that text editor provides you direct drag and drop facility of various html tags and element but for the learning purpose we will use simple text editor that is the notepad so to open the notepad first go to the start menu accessories and notepad so this is the basic text editor to creating any html document so we have discussed html structure so now we will utilize that structure so we are going to create our first application in html so write structure of the html document first tag is html and then head tag we know the purpose of head tag head tag is used to give the title and if you want to write style sheet then we can use head tag we will set title of the page using title tag we are giving title of the page to first html page so this will be displayed on the top of the browser and it will also utilized by the search engine now after the writing title tag we are going to complete head tag so we are completing head tag and now main is the body tag so let's start body tag first and body tag by forward slash and then complete the html tag now we have defined structure of the html document now save this file where you want to save go to file menu and select save i want to save this file in my study folder html overview of html and i want to give overview dot html so html document have extension dot html or dot htm so save the html document with dot html extension so let's run go to the path where you have saved your html document and one browser file will be created and double click on that 
browser file and open. We can see the title is set first HTML page. Nothing will be displayed in HTML screen in output because we doesn't have written anything in HTML page. So now let's set various properties of body tag. Body tag is used to change the appearance of the page. If I want to set background color, then attribute BG color is used. So I want to set BG color is equal to red. FF0000 is the code for setting red color to the background. Now let's check the output. We can see background of the page is set. So this is the use of BG color attribute. Likewise, we can also set background image for the page. Do that. For setting a background image, background is used. And in double quotation, we have to pass image name as well as the extension of image. We want to set happy.jpg. Now let's refresh the page and we can see background image as our page. So this is all about overview of HTML in which we have learned setting the title of the page, how to set the document layout, what is the purpose of body tag and how to set various attributes of body tag. Thank you. Welcome friends. Now we are ready to discuss further about HTML. In this video tutorial, we will learn about headings, paragraphs, breakline and horizontal rule. So let's discuss about various headings. There are mainly six types of heading tags. H1 is the most highest level heading. So if you write text in H1 tag, then it will be larger than other H tags. And H6 is the smallest level of head tag. So the text in H6 is very smaller than the H1 tag. Heading element H1 through H6 generally used for major division of document. So now let's see how to write h1 tag and what is the effect of h1 to h6 tag we generally called hx tag so let's define first structure of the html document and we have to write all these tag in body tag so first write structure of the html We are starting now body tag and we also completing body tag and HTML tag. Now we are ready to save this document. So save this document at any place where you want to save. We are saving in our folder chapter 3 dot HTML. So now we want to give the first heading using h1 tag so we write h1 first h1 heading and we are completing h1 tag similarly we will directly see h4 you can also use here h2 h3 h4 we are directly jumping over to h4 last h6 tag save it and now let's run we can see first h1 tag have highest size and h4 have less than h1 and h6 which is the smallest size and used to write some content in level manner so this is about h1 tags now let's quickly discuss the paragraph. Paragraphs allow you to add a text in document in a such a way 
that it automatically adjusts the end of line let's write paragraph using p tag this is the tutorial of paragraphs and we are ending p tag we can see we have created paragraphs when this paragraph comes over here then it will automatically adjust to the new line so this is the purpose of paragraph now what can you do when you want to write text on new line so for that purpose br tag is used br means break line so if i want to add a new line between these two words then i can add br paragraphs will be displayed on new line and it is shifted to new line this is the purpose of br tag one more tag which is horizontal rule means hr hr is used to write the line if i want to display a horizontal line then hr tag is used we don't have to complete the hr tag we don't have to complete also br tag so we are writing directly hr and let's run and see the effect you can see of paragraphs is written on new line and one line is created we can also adjust the width of line so if i want to give width of line 50 percent then i can do this by this attribute width you can see width is decreased by 50 percent so this is all about headings paragraphs break lines and horizontal rule you can set various layout using these elements so, so this is end of our tutorial thank you welcome friends in this tutorial we will learn how to format our text and characters so to format characters we have special tags like a font tag emphasis tag strong tag center tag and special characters so we will see how to utilize these all tags in our html document so let's see first font tag font tag is used to set the various font properties so let's see use of font tag this is the syntax for writing font tag now i want to display this is formatting and i have to complete this font tag in font tag i have to pass the attribute which we want to set for example i want to set color then i have to pass color as attribute and value in this attribute i want to set color as red so i am giving this input i can also give size in the font tag i want to give size is equal to 3 we can give size in font tag 1 to 7 so let's see the output we can see font is formatted using the color red we can see when we have in increased the size of the font then size will be automatically increased in our document so this is the font tag now let's see another tag which is the emphasis tag is used to give the emphasis to the text so let's see the use of emphasis we have written emphasis tag and completed emphasis tag to write the strong text strong tag is used so let's write the strong tag we must have to complete all these tags if you want to write a strike through text then strike tag is used Similarly, we can give bold, italic and underline effect. So, let's write text in bold. B tag is used to give the bold. Similarly, I tag for italic and U tag for underline. Now, let's run this. We are reloading. We can see emphasize text is displayed 
in emphasize this is the effect of strong strike through text contains a line in strike we can see there is a problem in ending the strike strike through so let's correct it we must have to complete strike otherwise strike through effect will be continued reload it we can see effect is removed bold tag is displayed by bold italic text is displayed in italic and underline in underline now let's quickly discuss about subscript and superscript and special characters what will you do when you want to uh, print the characters like less than or greater than which is actually used in writing or tags for that special characters like lt which is defined by iso is used for example i want to display less than then ampersand lt is used it will display less than sign similarly greater than is also used now i want to give subscript or superscript then sub and super tag is used super tag i want to give hell square then super tag is used i have to complete super tag let's check it you can see this less than is printed using lt which is a special character and hell square is displayed by using super tag similarly we can give sub subscript also using the sub so this is all about character so this is all about character formatting thank you welcome friends in this video tutorial we will study about various types of list we can also create list in html there are various types of list like a order list unordered list and data definition list so we will utilize this list in this program so let's see first unordered list every list contains li tag so for creating list we need a li tag and for order list unordered list and data definition list upper level tag is ol ul or dd so let's see first unordered list to create unordered list ul tag is used so first write ul tag and complete ul tag in between ul tag we have to write li for list item now in unordered list we can give special list marks like a circle disk and square these mark are used in list for example if if you want to give the list by circle then we have to pass here type is equal to in double quotation circle now let's add item into the list we are adding java we must have to complete list item we are adding one more list item in our list we are completing list item tag we are going to run we can see the output is displayed by circle so by this way we can utilize this list now let's change this by square or disk and see what is the effect we are changing this by square save it we can see the list mark is changed by square so this way we can utilize this list now we are going to see another list which is order list order list can be created using ol tag means order list this is the abbreviation of order list now what is the difference between ol and ul when there is no order in the list then unordered list is used and when we want to give order like 1 2 3 4 or a b c or roman alphabet 1 2 3 then we can use order list so we want to give type is equal to a so this order list will be created using mark a b c in small letters now we want to give here java save let's check output we can see the order is given automatically by browser this is interpretation by browser now let's change the mark options or type options 
we are changing by capital then list will be given capital ordering we can see what is the effect if we want to start the list by someone other number for example i want to start this list from third order then i have to pass start attribute using value so i have passed start is equal to 3 so this list will now start with 3 we can see the list starting is from 3 and further 4 we have seen two types of list one is the order list and another is the unordered list now is the definition list for creating definition list dl tag is used when, when definition list is used when we want to create list like some uh, list of definition then we can use this data definition list so let's create data definition list for creating data definition list dl means data definition list is used now we are ending the definition list now first we have to give data type what is to be defined we have to put in dt tag so dt tag is the data type now we are putting here java now what is the definition of java so for that dd tag is used same way we are putting another definition also now let's check the output for data definition we can see the definition automatically is adjust by some space so this is the use of definition list we have seen order list unordered list and data definition list now onwards we can utilize this concept in our other programs. Thank you. Welcome friends. In this tutorial we will study about images. In this video we will see how to put or insert images in HTML document. We can insert various types of image and there are certain types of supported image like JPG and GIF are supported type of image in HTML document but in HTML document we can't insert the image like PNG or BMP so this is the unsupported image so let's see how to insert image in HTML document to insert the image in HTML document IMG means image tag is used in image tag we have to pass certain types of attribute like first is the source attribute in source attribute we have to supply the path of the image we can supply either relative or absolute path or we can supply full path of the image for example if our image is located in c drive and in certain folder then we have to pass this full path of the image with its extension or image is stored in same folder where our this html file is located so we are giving just name of image with its extension or image name is friendship dot gif we are saving this html file in our folder im dot html another attribute is alternate when image is not displayed because of certain reason then what is to be display is defined by alternate so alternate attribute describes about image we are displaying fri end friendship another is the height and width if you want to set the height and width of the image then we can set this height and width by height and width attribute i want to set the height using 300 pixel Another is the edge space and LV space. Edge space describes the horizontal space from the left side of the border of the window. How much pixel we want to put the space? This, this can be set by edge space. I want to give edge space is equal to 30 pixel. Another is the align where we want to display or where we want to align our image top left right or bottom are the alignment for image I want to give top alignment so image will be display on the top of the window now 
complete the image tag before running let's add just heading just save the document let's run it we can see image is inserted which is a gif type image which is animation we can put various animation image using the gif image so this is the use of image and we have seen how to insert the image on in our html document so this is about images thank you welcome friends in this video we will study about various links before going to links we discuss url url is uniform resource locator when we are using links then we must have to pass url to which we want to redirect our page for example there are various types of url like ftp url http url or email url in this example we will use http url or file url so let's see what tag is used in html to redirect one page to another page in html anchor tag is used to redirect one page to another page so anchor tag is defined by a in anchor tag we have to pass one attribute called href means h reference this attribute take a value of url to which we want to redirect our page so href write href is equal to in href we have to pass full url of page we want to redirect our page to www.google.com now close this tag and write here text on which when user clicks this page is redirected i want to write click here and go to google now close this anchor tag so what will happen in the output so let's run and see what will be the effect before running first let's save this we are saving now let's open we can see one link is created and it is underline link underline specify this is the link otherwise it is a text now let's click on this link we can see page is re redirected to the google.co.in and this is the home page of google so this is about how to redirect one page to another page which is located on the web we can also redirect page which is in our machine or in our directory so let's see how to redirect our page which is located in our directory so go to our file we are creating one more anchor tag and href we are keeping blank href currently and write text complete the anchor tag now in href we have to pass absolute or relative path so we are supplying relative path i want to redirect my page to page which is created pre in previous video which is the im.html and stored in 6 hyphen images folder so let's see hierarchy of the directory this is my links folder in which my current page is stored and i want to redirect this page to im.html which is stored in 6 images now i will write first im.html before im.html prefix the forward slash after that write the folder name which is images before folder name write one more forward slash and write dot dot so this is the path and which is a relative to our directory now save this document and let's run this links we can see two links are created one for google and another for images which we have created using the anchor tag now let's click on the images we can see our page is redirect to im.html and page is displayed so this is how we can create a links and redirect our page to another page thank you
Welcome friends. In this video, we will see how to create tables and how to set its various attributes and properties. For creating table, HTML provide table tag. Table tag contains four sub elements, which is tr means table row, td means table data, th means table header, and caption, which is used to provide caption to our table. Now let's see how to create tables. For creating table, first we have to create table tag. and we have to also complete table tag by forward slashing now in table tag how many row and how many columns we want to create is defined by td and tr so we are creating just table for student information and its mars so for that tr tag is used for creating row means table row we are creating first one row in one row how many columns you want to insert for that table data which is used to create table sales i want to create two columns so i have added two td now in first td i want to write student name and in second td I want to write marks now this is first row is created to create second row similarly we have to write another tr which is table row and for enter data td is used i want to write john and marks of john is 56 i am completing td and save this document now let's run this page we can see table is created student name is equal to john and marks is equal to 56 now let's see various properties of this table first property of table tag is border if you want to give border to table then you can give border by border attribute i want to give border by two pixel these are the header of our table. I am replacing td with th and save it, reload. We can see automatically header have bold text and other have only regular text and border is created by two pixel. We can also give bg color, background, height and width of table by giving various attributes in table tag similarly table data also contains some properties like bg color background and important attribute of table data is row span and call span so let's see the effect of row span and call span i am adding tr i have added one more student called martin and its mark now I want to give average of the students in separate cell I am giving one more row I have given average in only one cell let's see the effect we can see in the output this space is left blank so what we can do for this by cold span property we can extend this column by cell so let's do this by call span so we have to write call span to extend this column is equal to how many cell we co we want to extend i want to extend this by two column let's check we can see this which was blank is removed and our column is now size of two column so this is how we can use various attributes in table data. So this is about tables and its various properties. Thank you. Welcome friends. In this video we will see how to create frames. Frame page is a made up of multiple HTML document. It describes how to divide our page into multiple frames. So we will see how to divide our page in multiple documents.
so we have created one page called link.html in which we have defined certain links for example for chapter 2 we are redirecting this page to character formatting.html and likewise for chapter 5 and chapter 8 so we will save this page using link.html now let's describe the division of page by using frame tag or frame set tag so open new file first write html structure now we have written the structure of the html document to write the division of our web browser page we have to write frame set tag and which is written before the body tag so write frame set tag now how you want to divide your page and how much space you want to give to each section for that calls attribute is used i want to divide this window by 30 percent and 70 percent so write 30 and 70 save this document using fr.html now complete the frame set tag in frame set now you have to define what kind of contents each section will be display so for that frame tag is used in frame tag you have to supply source source contains the page which you want to display in particular section for in first section i want to display link dot html after giving the source you have to also pass name i want to give name to left pen now complete the frame tag similarly i have also created one more section for that we have to also supply source currently i am giving name doc.html and complete frame tag we haven't created doc.html so let's first create doc.html now we have created doc.html in which we have just displayed hello this is frame in h1 tag now what to do now go to the link.html page and in each link you have to type target is equal to r underscore pen what will target attribute will do target attribute will pass or redirect this page and display this page in r pen means in doc.html page so when you click on the chapter 4 this, this page will be declared in right section so write target is equal to r pen in each link and save this now let's see the output open the fr.html you can see doc.html is this hello this is a frame this is the link.html which is displayed in left side of the frame and this is the right side of frame now let's click on the chapter 4 we can see when click on the chapter 4 that chapter 4.html is displayed in right side of the frame so this is how we can use frame for division of the page we can see when you click on chapter 5 chapter 8 particular content is displayed in right side of the page so this is about frames thank you welcome friends in this video we will see forms you have seen when you are registering on yahoo or google service or gmail or ymail service that you have to fill the form after filling the form you can use email services so for creating that type of forms html provides various input elements by which we can create form so let's see how to create forms for creating form form tag is used so first create form tag and complete form tag 
form tag contains one attribute called action in action we have to pass the name of the page where you want to process this form generally when we are using server then this action is used but currently we are not using the server or client server application so we are not using action now i want to create form for getting the student information so let's create form for that first i want to write enter student name for giving space address of nbsp is used now i want to get details of the student from text box so to create text box input tag is used input element type is equal to text each input type have special name and unique name so we will give name is equal to s name which is student name and complete the input element or input tag now save this document and let's see output we can see enter student name is written and in front of that one text box is created now let's add more and more element in this form i want to add select gender to create radio buttons input type is equal to radio we have to specify type is equal to radio so this will di display radio button we have to select one of radio button either it is male or female and we must have to write name is equal to gender or same name to both radio button so we are creating just two radio button one is male and another is female now let's check we can see two radio buttons are created and which is toggle now let's add button to our form for submitting this output for that we have to give input type is equal to submit and it is in double quotation mark value is equal to submit when we want to pass some value to one form to another form then this value will be used at a time of processing this inputs on the server so you can see submit button is also created now if i want to give password type facility then text will not be displayed but in place of some character will be displayed so to create that type of input we have to specify input type is equal to password enter password so you can see when you enter the value in the password box no character will be displayed but only disk or round will be displayed which is used for entering the password so this is about forms in which various types of elements are used more elements like option buttons select checkbox and other reset buttons are used for creating forms we have seen in this example text box radio button password and button so this is about forms thank you Welcome friends in this video we will learn how to use javascript in our html document javascript is a part of java and java is a object oriented language created by sun microsystem but javascript is not a object oriented language javascript is a object based language which is used to manipulate the html document and validate the html document so in this document we will see how to use javascript in our html document so you are now familiar with forms 
how to create forms and how to use forms so we have created here one form name calc which is calculator in this form we have written one head tag and displayed calculator heading we are retrieving two inputs from the user one is the number 1 and other is number 2 for each input we have created separate text box called n1 and n2 so we have given name to this both text box we have also created one button using type is equal to button and we have given value is equal to answer so let's see what will be the design layout of this form we can see form is displayed now we will write javascript in this form javascript is written in head tag and we have to create script tag and in script tag we have to pass one attribute called language and we have to give language is equal to javascript now in script tag we have to write javascript so we can create function or declare variable in this script tag so we are creating now functions function is the block of code which can be call repeatedly and many times so we are creating function using function keyword here we have to pass name of the function we are writing calc in curly braces we have to write code for this function so now we are utilizing these inputs in our function so to retrieve this input in our javascript document object is used so first let's declare variable a and in a variable we are storing the value entered in the text box 1 which is n1 the value entered by user in text box is type of string so first we have to convert that type into integer so parse a integer function is used to convert the string type to integer and now document object is used to access this value in document object form calc in form calc we want to access n1 element and the value of n1 is ac accessed by property value so now we have access this value and store that value into a variable similarly we will use b variable to store n2 value now we will declare one more variable called sum and we will sum this both variable a plus b now i want to display message box and message box can be displayed using alert function so in alert function we can pass string which we want to display i want to display answer is and i want to display sum of the two numbers which is stored in sum variable so this can be concatenated by plus operator in javascript so we will displaying some message box which contains answer of the addition now we have created function so i want to display the answer on the click of the button so on click attribute of button is used to call the javascript function so i will pass the javascript function name here it is calculator which calc now let's see the output so now let's enter the value in the text box we are entering number 1 as a 10 number 2 as a 15 and click on the answer we can see message box is displayed with the answer 25 so this how we can use javascript in our html pages or html document so this is use of javascript thank you welcome friends
in this video we will learn about vb script vb script is a programming language that allows scripting of events object and actions to create internet applications the script element lets the browser know what type of script it is with its language attribute which is similar to javascript which we have seen in previous example since the vb script is embedded in the html page it is interpreted at the client when the page is loaded and activated by an event like pressing a button which also we have seen in previous example of javascript it can also be used in the creation of active server page which is asp for developer using microsoft's internet information server as their web service platform so this is the basic introduction about vb script now let's use the previous application which is the same calculator application and we build that calculator application using the vb script so to creating vb script we have to write language is equal to vb script we are not adding the semicolon at calling function so this is the only difference between vb script more difference we will see when we are writing vb script so to create function in the vb script sub keyword is used after writing sub we have to write function name here we are writing function name is equal to add after writing the add function using sub and end sub in between sub and end sub we have to write the code for function for declaring variable we can directly declare variable by just name here we want to give a to access the value of the text box same method as javascript is used but to convert the string type to integer c integer function is used and we have to pass the value of string in this function so we are accessing direct document dot form one first number dot value note that we we don't need to add semicolon at the end of statement in vb script now we will store same value we are storing second number value in the b variable just changing second number i want to add this number so i am taking one more variable c and adding value a plus b i want to display message box so to display message box msg box is used in message box we have to pass the string value as well as variable value and to concatenate ampersand sign is used now let's run this page we can see same output is created now we are entering value into this calculator click on the answer we can see like similar to previous application the answer is displayed the answer is 63 the main difference between the javascript and vb script is difference of syntax nothing else so like similar application we have created calculator ap application using the vb script so this is about vb script we can manipulate all the elements of html using vb script also thank you welcome friends in this tutorial we will see about meta element meta tag is written in head tag of html document it is used for many purpose but mostly used for providing information of page to search engines let's see uses of meta element first let's see description value you can use the meta element to embed information in the head of your page that the search engine will use to display a description of your site so this is the syntax of meta element to give description to page we have to supply description value to name and we can write content or description of page in the content attribute now let's see keyword value you can use the meta element to embed information in the head of your page that search engine will use for keyword when people are searching for your site 
so this is the syntax for how to provide keywords to meta element we have to specify keyword value to name attribute and content is equal to various keyword like company name country state industry and about keywords of page now let's see author you can embed author's name in meta element by this particular syntax name is equal to author and content is equal to author name we can also specify information about company so when user search about company on the search engine so quickly can get output about our page so this is the syntax for giving company name in meta tag we can also provide copyrights to our page so this is the syntax how to provide copyright we have to give value copyright to name attribute so this is all about meta tag how we can use it and and how search engines are utilize meta tag to extract the information from page thank you welcome friends in this video we will see two special tags marky and blink these both tag are used for creating animation type effects so let's see one by one let's see blink tag first so blink tag is used to give on and off effect to text so let's write blink which is the blink tag write some text we are writing this is animation and complete blink blink tag doesn't contain any special attribute we can give bg color or background to blink tag but it doesn't contain any special attribute so now let's see the effect of blink tag save this document and run we can see the blink tag text is becoming on and off on and off so this is the effect of blink attribute so this type of animation we can give using the blink tag now let's see marky tag when we want to give animation like some text or images goes from left to right or right to left then we can use marky tag so this is the spelling for marky currently we are just giving text and without any attribute we are writing marky tag we are writing this is marky effect and close marky tag save this and let's see what will be the effect so text from left side is coming and going towards the right end so this is the effect of marky tag when it reaches the left end of the window it again starts from the right end and goes toward the left end so this way we can give animation or advertisement using the marky effect now let's see marky with some attributes so let's see first behavior attribute set value of behavior attribute is equal to alternate save and let's run marky attribute starts from the right window but when it reaches to the left end it again starts from left to right so this is the effect of behavior attribute now let's see another attribute called direction when we want to specify direction of marky text or marky content then we can do this by using direction i want to give right and let's see so marky will be started from right and goes toward the left so this way we can give direction to the marky content using the direction attribute we can also set bg color background using same attribute which we have seen in previous example so this is about marky and blink tag which is used to give animation type effects thank you very much welcome friends in this video we will see about page layout and design consideration 
we will also see some guidelines to design a page. At a planning any website, we have to consider certain factors. In this chapter, we will see some guidelines that can help to design any website. So let's see first technical design consideration. We have to consider screen resolution. Screen resolution is dependent on the hardware and the settings on the computer that is going to view your page. It is measured in pixels. When designing your page, you should make sure they look good at the lowest resolution. The minimum guaranteed viewable area on PC is 600 by 280. This takes into account that browser is actually using some of the viewable space. Another is color depth. This determined by the hardware of surfer's computer is the number of colors supported. The video card or the current video setting can limit this. On a PC, the video card driver defaults to 16 color and in many cases, other video cards or older video cards only support 16 colors. Designer should develop their graphics with 216 color palette or Netscape supported palette and all graphics should be viewed at 16 color to ensure that they look good. Document size and download time. Probably the biggest technical design consideration is the overall size of the page versus the time it takes to load on the surface computer. So we have to design page of that type of layout so it contains minimum graphics or graphics which take minimum load time. Another is site layout and navigation. Navigation control should be loaded across the top of the right hand side of the page. This will locate your navigation control close to browser's control for movement up and down scrolling. You should only have to 3 to 5 mouse clicks to move from start to destination. People do not like to hunt for the answer. So this was all about design consideration and page layout. Thank you. Welcome friends. In this video, we will learn about style sheet. Style sheet are a special type of facility provided by HTML and it is new to HTML. By style sheet, we can reduce lots of time using repetitive formatting of styles. So let's see various type of style sheet. Style sheet are described using cascading style sheet, which is CSS. There are mainly three types of CSS, inline CSS, external CSS and embedded CSS. So we will see this CSS in our HTML document. So to create style sheet, we have to give style tag in head tag. So we are giving style type is equal to text slash CSS and in between style tag we have to write style sheet which is CSS. Now style sheet have special selectors, classes and ID. So we are using first selector. Selector is a nothing but a element. So I want to define style sheet for p tag. So write p tag and in curly braces we have to define style sheet. Now I want to define color for this particular p tag. So color can be defined using color property. We have to give colon and after colon I have to specify color for this paragraph. So I have specify color is equal to red. Now in body tag whatever I will write in p tag that will be of red color. So I am writing this is style effect and close the p tag. Save. Let's see what is the output. We can see paragraph is written in red color. Now onwards we will write whatever in p tag that will be displayed in red color. So no need to each time we have to specify style for every tag. We can give particular standard style to one tag and we can use that tag with consistent format.
so this is the internal style sheet now let's see the inline style sheet inline style sheet can be given at time of writing element so now i want to write style sheet which is inline for h1 tag so write style is equal to in double quotation give back ground hyphen color is equal to blue semicolon i want to define one more style color is equal to red to semicolon right this is inline text in h1 tag and complete h1 tag now let's run we can see head tag now contains blue as a background color so this is about inline style sheet we can also specify the external style sheet external style sheet is written in separate file with extension .css and we have to link that style sheet file in our html document so take a new notepad file and let's give style sheet for h2 tag we can directly write in the h2 selector i want to give color is equal to yellow font size 15 save this style sheet file with dot css extension now to link this file link tag is used give rel means relationship and write style sheet value and give reference which is using href st dot css which is our style sheet file name complete link tag now we'll write h2 tag let's run we can see h2 tag is written in yellow color and it contains size of 15 so this is about how to embedded external style sheet in or document and internal style sheet and we can also use inline style sheet so this is about how to use style sheet in our html document thank you